you from behind these jail bars in our kitchen to say no more. Today is the last day that we shall ever have to look at these hideous beasts again. We didn't realize we would be with it for this long. We thought we'd remodel within the first month. month. Yeah. It's been four years. This is what your makeup looked like on the day that you started your house remodel. All right. All right. Bye kitchen. Hey guys, so today is the day. It is the long awaited, extremely overdue house tour. I'm gonna to show you the before and afters of the remodel. If you did not know, or if you're new here, last year in, I think June, we started a remodel on our house. It was supposed to take three months and ended up taking a full year. <sighs> It was very intense and I'm not gonna talk about just like the horrible stuff that we had happen with the contractor. The majority of this video is going to be to show you guys the before and after, which is so crazy different. I think you guys are gonna be really surprised. This house was built in the 20s and it was very clear that it was made in the 20s because it was like wallpaper, really closed off rooms. Everything was really dark. Everything was really colorful, everything that I can list will be listed in the description of this video. It's been a process, <laughs> it's been a process. If you guys have questions about things that I don't quite cover, please feel free to ask them in the comments. I'm more than happy to give you guys any information about my recommendations, things that we would do differently because there are so many things we would do differently now. This video today, I'm so excited to say, is sponsored by HelloFresh. I have worked with them many, many times in the past and will work with them many more in the future. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a meal delivery service. They deliver meals to your door each week. All of the ingredients are inside of there, measured out for you so you don't have to do any measuring. It also has a recipe card in there that has six really easy steps. Every meal is like 30 minutes or less to prepare. It's all fresh, seasonal, very simple meals, but they're strikingly good. This is the first time that we We've ever gotten a box from HelloFresh that we don't modify. So we were eating very, very, very strict keto before. Now we're trying to, in every aspect of our life, just go more balanced. Just balanced. You have three different options that you can choose from. You can go the family plan, classic plan, or veggie. We chose classic. You can switch between them if one week you want to do veggie and the next week you want to go classic, etc. When I tell you these meals were 10 out of 10 good, specifically the meal that we filmed, which was the meatloaf, top three meals I've ever eaten in my life. Sponsorship aside, I'm not kidding. I want you all to listen to me and listen to me good. I am your real dad. Try that. I texted my sister as I was eating it because I needed somebody to understand and she had tried it before and we were both like dying because it is, it's, it's like you didn't think that meatloaf could taste like that. You're just like, yeah, it's meatloaf, like whatever. No, you don't understand, you don't understand. Oh my God, best. Hand, no, hands down, best meatloaf I, I've ever eaten. Please try that right this second. Don't. You are about to die. <laughs> Isn't that so good with the time? Should not exaggerate. Thank you so much HelloFresh for blessing me in this way. HelloFresh is from $6.99 per serving. If you guys are interested in picking it up, I will have the link listed down below, but you guys can go to HelloFresh.com, enter the code RawBeauty80 at checkout, and that will save you $80 off with eight free meals on your first month signing up. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now we are going to get into the home tour. You guys, let's go.
Hey guys, so today's video is the home remodel and I'm gonna go into each individual room. I'm gonna show you guys and talk to you guys about the room and each piece and where we got things and our inspiration for how we decided to sort of design the house. I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen and then just sort of work our way through the house. There's so much to talk about and there are so many things that we did along this process. There's going to be a second video coming eventually. I filmed the entire remodel process. I talked about all of the things that went right the things that went wrong. So I'm gonna start with the kitchen and then we're gonna go through everything and just talk it out. So as you guys can see in the before images of our kitchen, it was super closed off and tiny. In old houses like this that was built in the 20s, man, they really liked to close their kitchens off because it was not a place for entertaining back then. It was a place for cooking and you would entertain in like the living room and all of those other areas. So with new open concepts and the way that we like things to be now, I really wanted it to be not closed off from the rest of the house. As you can see from the dining room, it was a tiny little doorway with that big wall there. And then you would go into the kitchen and for some reason, whoever designed this kitchen decided to put the oven in the middle of the kitchen. It was it was such a terrible design because it closed off the entire thing and then they had those weird bars going across it So it made you feel like just boxed in working around in this kitchen was such a pain in the ass There was also wallpaper all over the walls and it was just Blue like everything was like this weird tealy greeny blue color and we just we just didn't like it It's not what we wanted to go for. We wanted it to be more open and bright and inviting and airy we didn't want it to be too white which is why we decided to run the wood floors all throughout the kitchen so that it brought that natural wood color into the kitchen instead of doing like a tile on the floor a lot of people opt for a tile in the kitchen but because we chose vinyl floors which i will talk about in a moment we decided to just run it all throughout the kitchen because you don't have to worry about water damage or anything like that and we are so happy with that it really warms up the space and just allows it to look so much more i don't know homey and that's what we were going for i think had we chosen a tile in the kitchen it would have looked really sterile and drab with all of the white that we chose to choose the shape of the kitchen and decide where to put things as you can see we moved the fridge from the other side of the kitchen to the opposite side and same with the oven we kept the dishwasher where it was that was like the perfect positioning for it and we opted to get all new cabinets the old cabinets were a wood that was painted white and they were just really grimy and the paint had obviously been done a couple of times so it was really thick and caked on it just would never really look quite that finished i'd say the cabinets of everything that we bought in this entire remodel were the most expensive they were a freaking ass expensive but that's what happens when you get new cabinets we decided to go with an actual cabinet company near seattle instead of going with like ikea the main reason for that being is that these are real wood doors and it's just not going to break down as quickly over time i did speak to a couple of friends of mine who have ikea cabinetry and they were showing me some areas where it's already starting to sort of warp and i didn't want to pay all of that money to have the cabinets done when they're just going to change over time so instead of doing that we just went with the more expensive cabinets and we are happy with our choice they've been really lovely they have a soft close feature and it's just so nice for the handles, that was one of the toughest things to decide on, and I do think I like what we picked. We went with these hexagonal handles from CB2, and they look really nice. Um, they took forever to get here, and they weren't super cheap, but they weren't that bad either. I'm really glad we did these. We wanted some different shape in here than just like the traditional handles that you can get at like Home Depot. I think I probably, in hindsight, would go back and do the brass handles. I think it would add a better color in here than just having everything be white and silver and chrome. I mean, Zach didn't really care, but I just love the idea of the glass front cabinets as well, but I didn't want all of them to be that. First of all, they're more expensive, and second of all, you have to have really nice looking things inside of those cabinets because you can see inside of them I love that we just did it on the one side because it just makes it I don't know It just makes it look more finished in a little country farmhouse, but I didn't want it to be too country We decided to go with the farm sink because we love the huge sink. It's a really high quality I prefer that to like a stainless steel that gets scratched up. This sink has been wonderful we absolutely love it it's humongous it fits everything in it it cleans really easily it never stains or gets dirty we've been so happy with this sink we got this gooseneck faucet and i really like it it's honestly so lovely i have nothing bad to say about it it's been wonderful 
we decided to go with all LG appliances. We got everything from Home Depot. I put it on credit. They have a pretty good credit program with Home Depot. It's like almost two years, no interest, I think, which is so nice. It's two, two years, same as cash, basically. And you want to get all matching appliances from what I understand, like all the same brand. You don't want to get like a Whirlpool fridge and an LG dishwasher because they have a slight difference in their coloring and they just don't look like they match all that well. I'm really happy with the appliances that we we got so far. I actually think they all look really nice together and I think they all work really well. The best thing that we got in the appliances though, in my opinion, was the stove. We were on an electric stove before or oven and this is a gas range and I am telling you it has changed the game when it comes to cooking. We cook 10 times more, it's 10 times faster. It's just a lot easier to control things. I, nothing really burns anymore. I didn't know if I was gonna like having gas hook up in my house. It kind of freaked me out. I'm telling you, there ain't nothing to it. It's been so amazing. One thing to make sure of if you're going to get a gas range is I made sure that the broiler is still on the top in the oven. My dad and stepmom bought a gas range and they got one without realizing it, but the broiler is in the bottom like where pans usually go and they really aren't happy about that. For the backsplash, we decided to go with a brick. We wanted some texture. We didn't want subway tile because we felt that it would look too perfect and neat. So we decided to go with a white brick and white grout. In our living room, we have a white brick wall as well. So it just sort of ties in with that area of the house and makes it all kind of flow. As you saw in the initial clips, we also decided to do white quartz countertops. For this, we wanted a stronger material. What we didn't realize is that quartz can stain. So make sure that you're not using like spaghetti sauce or anything really dark colored or wine or spilling anything like that on it because it can stain. We decided to go with a white quartz with a white veining. I didn't want to go with like a marble look to it. I just feel like that's too predictable. I really like the white on white. It looks really, really pretty and has been so great. We did knock that wall out that was between the dining room and the kitchen because we wanted it to be really open and airy. And this was the biggest thing that we did in the whole house. It made our whole entire house look bigger and brighter and it just took away that sort of separated room feeling and gave us that open floor plan that we were looking for and we are in love with it it's so nice we also added a garbage disposal which if i can tell you to add one thing into your kitchen it's something i've never had in my entire life this is my first garbage disposal i've ever had i will never not have a garbage disposal it is my favorite they removed the soffits in the top so that it opened up the top as you can see in the old footage there were soffits which I don't know why anyone would add those. Again, this is a difference in like time frame because maybe that was cool back in the day, but as of right now, it's just awful. And it closed off the whole kitchen, made it seem shorter and more narrow. And as soon as those came out, it made a world of difference. And we were just so surprised. We just put the can lighting in the ceiling and that's that. It's been a lovely addition to our house and we cook 10 times more. We're happy with the outcome. We love it so much and it's so bright and airy. So now we'll move on to the dining room. So for the dining room, basically all we did to this room was all the new flooring. We kept the paint on the walls the same, but we had this absolutely hideous, hideous, old plastic chandelier up on the ceiling. So our main goal was to find something to replace that that looked classy, that fit in the space here, and that just looked nicer. That's really at the end of the day. We didn't want just like the traditional one. And actually Sam found this one for us online. Initially when I saw it, I was like, man, I don't know. But as soon as I saw it in person, I was like, I have to have that. That is from CD2. It is made of capiz, So it is a shell pendant in person. It's unbelievably beautiful. It's so stunning. And it just gives such an elegant appearance to this room. The dining room table, the whole set actually, the chairs and the table are from Target actually. I looked for every single dining room table that I could find. I didn't find anything that we absolutely loved. And this I actually really like. It's a mid-century modern feel. We definitely do need a rug to go underneath it to complete the whole area. But as of now, this works just fine. All of the stuff on top of it as well, all of the table runner, the chargers, all the napkins, and the thing with the candle in it is all from Target. Target's the best. 
You guys are gonna see a mirror on the side of the wall that was initially going to be hung on the wall, but it was from West Elm. This mirror weighs almost 60 pounds. And we have walls that are made out of plaster and lath, and they can only hang up to like 15 pounds. So as of right now, it's just kind of sitting there. And that's pretty much it for the dining room. Now moving on to the living room. So the living room, we really did no remodeling for. It was all just getting new furniture. This is the big thing about this. Furniture is fucking expensive. I did not realize how expensive it was because we were just Ikea people before. And I didn't want to continue buying, in my opinion, furniture we kept having to replace. I wanted to just buy a little bit more expensive furniture, but it would last forever. Now, something I did not keep in mind when buying this furniture. First of all, I bought a leather couch. Why? Why would I do that? I have cats. They've absolutely shredded the shit out of it. Especially Belly, who's so precious and wonderful and I love her with my whole heart, but she loves sleeping at the end of the couch. She loves playing on the couch and she loves ruining it. It's still a beautiful couch because it's an aniline leather, so it is supposed to look worn and it does wear in with time. Um, it was so unbearably expensive, but here's the thing. With this living room, the main thing was designing the shape of it. So Samantha Ravendahl, you are a huge helper in this. She actually kind of figured out that like a chaise lounge on the right hand side of the couch would look really good, the left when you're looking at it. But it would create like a little nook sitting area and then having some chairs on the other side to create like a cozy little seating area, which I completely agree with. We couldn't decide together on a coffee table, but this is the one that I found. I think it's from West Elm and I really love it. I think it's so beautiful. The TV credenza is pretty nice. It came broken and it came six months late. Uh, we were being dicked around by CB2 so much on that. It, it was really frustrating, but I do like it. I think that it is a nice shape and size and it just fits really well with the room. On the other side of the room, we have the CB2 bookshelf. Everything is freaking CB2, West Elm, Anthropology, Target, and Amazon. That's pretty much the main places that I bought everything. The bookshelf I really loved for this corner. So I designed this entire living room in Photoshop. I took it in and I just sort of put things from you know photos that I found online and thought okay would this look good here what about a plant here I designed the entire living room and it looks exactly the way I hoped it would in my mind it's cozy and people that come in now say that it does feel cozy to them which means so much to me because my living room before I didn't like any of the furniture it's just stuff I've had for my whole life and there was a gray couch gray rug gray everything everything was monochromatic and I didn't know how to get that cozy vibe but Sam you sure did the table in between my chairs, my dad built for me for Christmas. It's so amazing. It's a live edge wood piece and it's got these steel legs and they are so amazing. My dad is the most incredible builder. These chairs that I got, I got them from Article and I really like their furniture as well. But these chairs are friggin' massive. The thing is, is I would not in any aspect of anything recommend these chairs if you have cats. The material of them, <laughs> is literally like a moth to a flame. These cats cannot help but walk up to these chairs and just start scratching them immediately. They have scratched the arms of both of the chairs up and they weren't cheap, so get out of here. So if you do plan on getting these chairs, buy a ton of scratching posts for your cats because as soon as they got an adequate amount of scratching posts, they did stop. The table next to the chairs on the other side is from Target. I got this a few years ago. Don't know if it's still sold. I love it it's got that mid-century modern feel as well the wall hanging is from fond willow it was actually a gift from she's one of my viewers and she makes these most gorgeous macrame beautiful wall hangings this was the most thoughtful and kind lovely gift we love it so much it's so beautiful and it fits this space perfectly it adds sort of a boho vibe in it fills that whole space of the brick wall as well because we did not know what to put there before we had like some weird art hanging there and i don't love it and it fits the space so well i love the vibe it brings and that's all i can say about that so this wall sconce that you see here is actually i think from cb2 as well i love it it is a raw alabaster and it's inlaid into a brass sconce it's so beautiful this is like our guest bathroom like if anyone needs to just use the restroom when we're all downstairs hanging out this is the one this bathroom is super duper duper 
tiny. So we really had to utilize the space well. There was just that icky old weird sink that was kind of sitting on like these weird legs before. And we decided to look the <laughs> best we could to find the absolute most narrow vanity and sink. We needed it to have the vanity section because we needed something to store toilet paper and soap and all that kind of stuff in. We changed the hideous weird hanging lights out and we made them into this like brass little thing from Amazon, painted the whole bathroom white, changed out the wallpaper area for wainscoting and then we got a new toilet and then that little brown wooden shelf with the plant on it that is from amazon we wanted that there well at least i did because i think the bathroom looks too white without it it just needed it it needed it absolutely when we moved into this house i'm going to try to insert some pictures or footage if i can the whole entire house was carpet carpet everywhere and when we pulled up the carpet, there were hardwood floors underneath it. But the problem was, is that half of them had been painted. There was water damage in a part of it. And the upstairs was all fur floor, which is way too soft of a wood. If you so much as scuff your foot along it, it gouges out the floor. The floor downstairs was oak. But the problem with that is, is it was only in a portion of the downstairs. So we would have had to try to match the wood floor in the other areas. And it would have cost us way more than we ended up doing. We opted to go with vinyl flooring. Now, this was the hardest decision in the whole remodel for me. I had no idea what to do for flooring. We were gonna do real hardwood, then we were gonna do engineered hardwood, then we were like, screw it, let's go laminate. And then we went to the flooring store and pretty much every single person that we talked to along the way said to go with vinyl. And the reason to go with vinyl is because it feels nice and warm on your feet. It's not, it doesn't feel like plasticky when you're walking around on it. It looks very much like real wood flooring. It's completely waterproof. So if your house ever fully flooded, your floors would be perfectly fine. And it's just a nice floor. Like it's way inexpensive. It was the best option for us. And if I'm honest, if I could give you one piece of advice, if you're going to do a remodel, bitch, get vinyl flooring. It's very thin and it's very flexible. It's not going to build your floors up too high. So if you're laying it over an old floor, it's kind of a perfect choice if I'm being honest, because it just fits over the top of anything. You could install it yourself. I think that's one thing that I didn't realize when we were doing this house. And one thing I would have kept in mind when we were watching him do this, it was like, oh my God, we could have done this ourselves. Seriously, it's so simple looking. It's just honestly snapped together. I couldn't decide on a color for the vinyl floor for the longest time because I just did not know, should we go warmer? Should we go cooler? Should we go grayer? Should we go darker, lighter? It's really difficult to choose. But actually what ended up happening is I went over to my sister's house and in that house, the landlord had just installed new floors before she moved in and they were perfect. They were beautiful. They were so neutral. They go with every kind of wood, the warmest wood, the darkest wood, the reddest wood. It doesn't matter. It goes with everything. It's not abrasive. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just literally the perfect floor. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's TAC flooring and the color is called Dover. But another thing to keep in mind when you do a vinyl floor is that vinyl is it off gases and there are some concerns with the health you know aspect of vinyl flooring but this one is rated to be safe in the state of california and california is super weird about that and i think it's like the epa or the environmental protection agency um they have said that this flooring is safe and not problematic i made sure to do a ton of research on that before getting it because there are some issues with vinyl flooring but we we've had no problems and I didn't even notice a smell or anything. So I want to make one thing very clear. When you guys see the before in all of these rooms, we know that they are staggeringly disgusting beforehand. Here's the thing. When we moved into this house, we had the idea that we were going to remodel right away within the first month. And we got on it. I was ripping wallpaper down. I was ripping floors out. I was doing everything. And we realized we were in over our heads financially and with just the amount of work that needed to be done. So for the next few years, we ended up saving money. When you live in a house you're not proud of, everything's wallpaper, the carpet's half torn out, the wallpaper's half torn out, you start to sort of treat it poorly because, I mean, at least I can only speak for me and my husband. When we live in a really nice space, we treat it with so much respect. We keep our house this clean always. Our house always is just really spick and span, been so nice for us. But when we had it before the remodel and when everything was just sort of, no matter how clean it was, it never looked clean. And so in that, we just kept our clothes and laundry 
basket sitting all over the floor. We needed curtains. Instead of getting nice curtains, we just tacked some curtains up to the wall because we were like, it doesn't matter what it looks like right now. We're gonna remodel soon. And we stayed in that mindset for so long. We would try to clean. We would try to make everything look better and you would get done cleaning. And yeah, the room would be clean, but it would still look not clean. So we just lived like shit. We were just, we just got lazy with it. And trust me, I judge myself too when I see this footage because we've been so clean and living so good. But I just keep it real with you guys. We were freaking ass hoarder status. It's embarrassing. I hate it. We got rid of like everything. We donated so many things. All of the clutter you see in all of the video footage from the befores does not exist in our house anymore. We don't have any of it. And you know what? After we remodeled, we just became really clean people. The people that we were before we had this house. We lived in a nice house before this one that wasn't old and had, you know, nice finishes. And we were super clean people then too. So it really just was living in a house we weren't proud of in a house that no matter how clean it was, never looked good. And so we just started living like messy. That's all I can say. We just were really messy. And that is gone now. We are not messy at all anymore. I live my life by freaking staying as clean as humanly possible. And it keeps my mind straight as well. Going upstairs, I actually drywalled all of these walls myself with my dad and my sister. We paid a drywall team to come in and do the expert finishes because honestly, they did a better job than I could have done. We got new windows over the whole house because we needed you know, none of them opened. The house was so old that none of the windows would open. They were all painted shut from a hundred years basically of being painted. This was one of my biggest tasks in the entire house. As you can see in the before, this bathroom, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. So it was very small and in the bathroom, the shower and bath combo were on the left. On the right was the toilet and the vanity and on the very left, right near the bathtub and shower combo was a closet on the outside. That closet was basically just wasted space in the bathroom. I had no idea what to do to this bathroom. My dear love, Samantha Ravendahl came over. I brought her up here and I was like, bitch, what do I do to this bathroom? And she was like, well, you could put the tub here on the left and then you can have a stand up shower here. You could have the vanity next to it and then just move the toilet. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Why couldn't I see that? This opened up our bathroom so much, Sam. I can't even thank you enough from the pit of my heart. Thank you so much for that help because this created this entire bathroom space for us. If it weren't for her, we would have just had not what I wanted. That's the thing. It wasn't what I wanted. So what we did in this bathroom was this was probably one of the more expensive areas because all the plumbing had to be moved. And oh my God, we had like five plumbing leaks and it was just like a thing. But after it all got moved and it's all done and you guys, I'm gonna talk about all this in the remodel video that's gonna be coming up later because this all had to be redone. The first contractor did everything wrong because we decided to move the toilet to the other side. It made the most sense this way and it is the most utilized space we could get with a small size bathroom. We couldn't expand the size of the bathroom with more square footage. So we had to work with what we had, but removing the whole bathtub area, taking out that closet gave us like so much more space that I can't even believe. When you used to walk in, the whole left area was completely closed off in like a little hall almost and then when you reach the end of that cupboard, you made it over to the bathtub space where it was nasty. It was like a plastic tub. It was like yellowed. It was all stained and grimy. And we replaced it with a standalone jetted tub. Now this tub is wonderful. Love it so much. I do have a couple of things to note about it in case any of you were wondering. So this is a jetted tub. It is not jets with water. It is an air tub. I wanted something that had that because in my entire life, it's always been a dream of mine to have a standalone tub. This one is, I believe called the grace tub and it's from hydro massage products. And they are out of, I believe Denver, Colorado. I'm not hundred percent sure. I will find everything and link it below. They had the best customer service I've ever dealt with any one in my entire life. The thing about this tub is it was the most expensive thing. I'm going to tell you the price because you're going to look anyway. This bathtub was $4,000. Now stop it right now when you're gagging and puking. Me too. I judge myself for buying it. Is it worth having jets? So I romanticized the idea of having air in a jetted tub because I was like, I'm going to use it every day in my life. I love it. The things that I love about this tub are, I mean, 
tenfold. It is a beautiful tub. So stunning. I love it so much. It's so wonderful. No complaints. It is very big. I thought the bigger the better. And while that is true for two people being in the tub, like me, my husband and I can bathe in it together and we never could do that in the other tub. I'm five feet tall. <laughs> So I cannot reach the other side of the tub when I'm leaned into the back of it. So I just kind of slide around the whole tub. The jets as well are so nice, but they're almost too vigorous. I thought it was, they kind of explained them like champagne bubbles. They're like, it's sort of like champagne bubbles. Hell no, they are like intense, like loud jets. It's, it's really nice, but I don't use them as often as I thought. And I think I could definitely get away with just a soaker tub instead. I could have likely paid around like 800 to a thousand dollars for a tub instead of like four thousand dollars so it was something i needed to see once in my life and now that i've done it i realize it's still beautiful i do not regret it and i think it makes our bathroom look so lovely and it's just oh it's such a luxury tub to have i love it so much however the faucet the faucet is stunning. Love the look of it. I think that it is so cool looking and it adds just the neatest look to the tub. It's the worst bathtub faucet I've ever bought. They said on Signature Hardware's site, which is where I bought it from, that it was a, you know, five gallons a minute flow rate. Bull. Loney, maybe a gallon a minute. It takes over 30 minutes to fill up the tub, which is crazy. I have to get it replaced, but at this point, I've just gotten to the point where I just, I, I don't want another contractor in my home. I'm just ready to just deal with it as is, but it needs to be at least like a 10 gallon a minute situation. It takes so long. I think normally, what does it take a tub to fill up? Like seven minutes. This is over 30. I mean, you can you can turn this bathtub on and go like th edit a whole entire video and come back and it's still not full. It's, it's not horrible. I'm not complaining. It's just, I, I feel like I wasted my money. And once you put it into use, like once you use it, you can't return it. This little stand over the top of the toilet is from Target. Love it so much. It's been great. It added the black. It tied it into this side of the room to just kind of change things up a bit. And we just think it looks great. The laundry basket that we have in here added that same sort of natural element in because as you can see the vanity we chose is the wood vanity and it is also from Signature Hardware which we really like it. It's got the over the top basin and it's just a really really pretty sink and really pretty vanity. It is an open vanity so on the very very bottom you can roll your towels up and put things down there. I really like that as well because it's not so bulky and boxy. It kind of opens it up and makes it more airy. The mirror from the wall, also Amazon, and the lighting we all got from Home Depot. And I love it so much. I think it looks so wonderful. The tile on the floor is from a local flooring shop, but it's honestly just a very standard hex tile. We love a hex tile. I think it looks so classy. We also did a black hex tile in the shower on the floor and in the cubby where you put, you know, your shampoo and everything like that. We did black grout with black tile, but some calcium or something kind of come up up through the grout and it made it look like we use like a gray grout on the floor which I don't love but you know what it is what it is we got the frameless shower door installed on the shower and we chose to go with a white subway tile with black grout we love that look it looks amazing it's just it just adds a whole different texture in. We chose to go with a rain shower head, but also to add in the diverter so that we could have the handheld shower as well if we wanted the option to do either or both at the same time. And we do love both. I don't feel weird about it. However, our plumbers installed this Delta faucet. We hate it. It never can get cold and it never can get hotter. It makes it seem like it could because on the very front of it, you turn it to like add the heat and then you turn the shower on. It's the worst thing that we've ever gotten. I was on customer service with Delta forever. We didn't choose that. The plumbers just put it on. I may have them come back and take it off and just put a regular one on because while it looks really good, it doesn't change temperature. You're either scalding hot or you're scalding hot that, that you have no in between. This light that we have here in the bathroom, I love so much and I feel like it fits with the bathroom it's black but it also has the exposed edison bulbs and it just looks so nice and neat 
and that's pretty much it for the bathroom you guys we love it so much it's been so nice to have a bathroom that is bright and airy and open but also adding the plants and the texture in with the you know like jute wickery style baskets with the black i just tried to tie it all in together to make it all fit and be cohesive together and it's been so great for our bedroom this was previously my filming room pink wallpaper hideous floors um, again they were fur so anything that spilled on it anything that scuffed it would immediately ruin the floors we decided to just lay the vinyl on top of everything for our room we re-drywalled over the walls the walls and the entire upstairs of our house were shiplap not the pretty kind of shiplap lap you see on chip and joanna the kind of ship lap that the walls are just made of wood there's no plaster and lath up here so you can just nail drywall right to the top of it and you're good to go i will try to find the white paint color we use but it's like white 52 we decided to go ultra white for the trim and the whole house has the same paint in this bedroom we got our bed frame and matching dresser combo from i believe west elm it is the roar and rabbit mango and brass inlaid i'll have it listed down below we love it so much it's so beautiful it's classy it's got a little bit of edge to it and it's not too much it's not too little the table beside our bed is one that my dad made as well we got that from a little place he sells his art here in town and he sells these tables and we went and bought one of these tables for our side table as well for our bed and we love it so much the lights i got from amazon these are um, flush mount lights we love them they work great and they're just kind of like classy and up there they're really kind of unnoticeable and assuming this rug we got i believe from target love it so much we have a little staircase for our cats as well as you can see because they have a hard time jumping on our bed it's kind of tall that's pretty much it for the bedroom very very simple the bedding is from west elm and we just think it looks really nice and that's that's kind of all the final room in the house that we did you guys have already seen in a previous video this was our bedroom before and oh my god this is the most hoardery thing i've ever seen trust me i look at this and i'm like who were we we were like depressed you know what i mean like we were so depressed and just like living and not really feeling great about our situation and we were going through a bunch of family stresses and stuff and when you're doing that i think you just start to stop caring about anything and that was so us these are shelves that we got at ikea these are the fajalbo fialbo i'm not how to pronounce that just drywalled this entire room painted everything white got the same flush mount light as our bedroom same new floors and that's pretty much all that was actually done in this room other than installing the shelves and then just making this my filming area this is a much better filming room than the other one the other one gets really hot because the sun hits it in the evening this one stays shaded most of the day so it's way more comfortable to film in and i just love it this has been a huge helper and guys that is the finished house tour. I cannot believe that I'm actually posting this video. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. Whew, there's a lot. And this all happened over the course of a year. The remodel was supposed to take three months. It ended up taking a year. We had a lot of mishaps along the way. It ended up costing us way more than it should because the first contractor did do a lot of things incorrectly. So it cost us almost more than a third more than it was supposed to, which is crazy expensive. But do I regret it? No. I think it gave us a lot of a beautiful space. It made me learn so much. I learned along this whole entire process how I would do things in the future, what things I would forego, things I would save money on, and things I would absolutely splurge on. I would say off the top of my head, things that I would definitely spend more money on and things I'd spend less like I said before, I think we paid a little too much for the tub and I would go with just a regular soaker unless you absolutely feel like you need the jets. I don't think you probably do as much as you think you do. We would absolutely continue doing the appliances the same way we did. We love them so much. We also moved the washer and dryer up from our basement into Zach's room. So incredible. I'm not even kidding. Having them be accessible like that is a world of difference. I can't even explain. We utilize every space in the house completely differently. We treat our space with respect and it has taught us a lot about ourselves and a lot about what we would do differently. I would absolutely do the vinyl floors again. I think that was something that I'm so glad on our choice on that. I would pay a drywall team to come in and do the finished drywall. I would absolutely hire an interior house painter, get a million quotes from a million different contractors. Don't go with the cheapest one. Don't go with the one with the best website. Go with the one that your gut tells you. And even if they're six, eight, 12 months out, you're gonna save yourself a headache. Had we hired the the second contractors that we got and just waited a little bit longer and been less impatient, 
we would have been done in three months. We would have paid way less and we would have gotten exactly what we wanted the first time. There's a lot of learning to be done in a remodel, but the main thing that we would do differently is we would not live in a home we were remodeling. That sounds weird, but I would never buy a home again that was needed so much work without doing all of the work before we moved in. Living through a remodel, people said it was gonna be stressful. We heard them and we thought, mm, it'll be fine. It was one of the most trying, frustrating, and stressful things we've ever done. Being completely displaced for a year, having everything that you own in boxes and not where it's supposed to be, having every room have dust all over it. All those things doesn't sound that bad because you're like, hey, we wanna do this. It's all something you need to keep in mind. It's very straining on your relationships and your mental health. It sounds dumb because it's so incredible to get done, but living through a construction site for that long, I think anyone would go a little mad. I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching me. If you guys didn't watch my YouTube channel and if you guys weren't here and supporting me throughout this entire process, I wouldn't have been able to save up over the last four years and be able to do this. I wouldn't have had any finances or time or any resources to be able to do this remodel. We really love it so much. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like what we did with it. I hope you like the designs that we came up with. Thank you, Samantha, for coming up with so much. Thank you, Zach, for being so amazing during this whole process and being there when we were both crying and wanting to rip our hair out during everything. But it's over. It's actually officially completely finished. We have a completely remodeled house and we are so insanely happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you at my next video.